generic greetings and welcome back to Atomic Chef. In the previous video we did mission number six guerrilla tactics and we did it at a fairly high efficiency rating. I think it was 84 or 86 percent. So it was deliver 30 meals, keep electricity usage under 1375 and use fewer than 95 ingredients. We now have another mission number seven here calories insanity. I might have said intensity in the previous video because um, well I can't read the words. Deliver 50 meals, keep electricity usage under 2200 and use fewer than 145 ingredients. Let's give this one a go. So meals to prepare. We've got some new meal in the center. That looks to be fried chicken. Uh, something or other. Uh, there's a symbol on the side there. Um, also, we've got uh, some fries there as well. So, robot, not robot, definitely not a robot. Today, we break new ground by offering a brand new combo meal. The packaging machine can be used to combine two individually, uh, individual complete dishes into a single boxed meal. But wait, there's more. In this kitchen, we need to deliver a combo meal and side order on their own. Right, okay. There's plenty of space to have two production lines for fries here. But the most economical way would be to have a single production line for fries, use both in order types. Okay, yeah. Um, so so if we put in a storage unit, then robotic arms controlled by order readers could pick up the fries needed as a side order or as part of the combo meal itself. Good luck today. Remember to check the recipes if you're unsure about the new dopamine combo meal. Right. So we've got the fries, which we know how to do. We've got fried chicken, which I don't think we've made before, but it looks to be fairly easy. Three raw ingredients. Um pieces, egg, and breadcrumbs, and then you fry it. Oh no, that's to combine them and then fry it first. Okay. Uh, and then finally our dopamine meal is, by the look of it, a burger and a, um, a, just a set of fries. So what we'll do first, we're going to make the fry machine because quite frankly, um, quite frankly, I really want to save a blueprint of this. So let's go ahead and do just that. So packaging meal, is that one there, that's all done there. So we need a dumb robotic arm, we need a smart robotic arm. That one is only going to pick up anything. No, it's not it's going to pick up. Um, fried potato wedges, that is going to package uh, our fries. That one is set to dispense potatoes. And then that one will say fries and we'll connect up all of that. So one, two, three, and technically the slice and dicing machine, I think, is the one that uses the most. Um, so the fry matic is only on while we are waiting for the order. Uh, packaging machine is exactly the same. I guess we're trying to save... Um, save all of the energy that we can. So that should technically be a legit uh, working machine. Let's simulate that order and we'll put up to max speed there. So that spends potatoes, cuts it up, it fries it off and then there you go, there's our fries. So that does work. Right, what I'm going to do then is go to blueprints, add a new blueprint. We'll select all of that and uh, we'll hit enter and that'll be fries. So we now have a frying blueprint so we don't have to make that over and over and over again. Um, so that's fine. Let's also make now, we're going to make the fried chicken. So three raw ingredients, and it does say raw chicken, then turn it into chicken pieces. Um, it says egg and then egg contents, otherwise known as egg. Um, and I believe, well, I assume, perhaps wrongly, that we'll need one, two, three dispensers. Uh, we'll have an order reader. We will need an assembler and indeed a... No, that should be fine for now. Um... We do need a food processor, actually three food processors, because I think that's um, how it works out. So we needed, what was it, uh, bread, um, we need, where is it, bread, egg, and then chicken. Now this is where we have to be, um, we have to box clever on this one, because if you put anything on the machine that, uh, anything on the same conveyor system or using the same machines as the chicken you get contamination which is something we are really trying to avoid so that should function correctly let me just change that over to a breaded chicken yeah so you do use the combiner to make breaded chicken that's then going to extract that and then um well, i guess this just goes straight out so we just need to put it into a uh, into a fryer, I assume. Again, it doesn't tell you, um, but I think that's yeah, fried chicken piece, so it must be. It must be. So uh, that's a that's a grill, no? So fryomatic, um, that can just go straight from a robotic arm dome. We'll have a robotic arm smart. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll try and save as much space as possible by doing that. You see, um, and. It looks like it says fried chicken. That has to be boxed by the look of it. So that'll that'll turn that to the uh, left. 
to the left. No, that's the right. And then ingredient filter, that has to be uh, fried chicken pieces only. Um, we need a conveyor system that will go there and there. Although, do we need it like that? No, that's... We could probably just put it... onto the machine like that. And then do that. And then just use the conveyor belt. Like that. It will add some delay to it, but I don't think it's too bad. Right, so this is for our fried chicken. Um, and we're going to add um, connections. So... Dispense one. Dispense one. Dispense one. And we'll add that to say only be on when the order's pending. Uh, that one is set to do fried chicken. Which I really want now. <laughs> um, let's, try, let's simulate that. So, we've got the meals that will come along here. Yeah, you see that salmonella there? Contamination. Warning has salmonella. Right. So, that's contaminated, but we haven't got anything else going along there. I think that's okay then. I think. That's gonna get packaged. Yes! Fried chicken, but the conveyor belt system is really long. But it works. So that's good. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to blueprint, add a new blueprint, add all of that. Uh, actually, we might as well add that. And uh, we will put that as chicken. Saves us having to make all these machines from scratch. Now, we might add another order reader. Might. Haven't yet decided. Um, it depends on how much costs. But what we'll do first is get that, move it down to there. Alright. Now, dopamine. It is a burger machine and a fry machine. So what I'll do first is build the burger machine and save it. So that's going to dispense the burger bun. That's... no. That can go... there, be fine. Um, we need another dispenser. That'll dispense the raw patty, but then we need to make sure that that is dispensing to the left. Which it is. That one will dispense straight, but that needs to wait for the cook patty. That's going in there. That one is set to plain burger. Dishes go on the left. But we'll, no, we'll actually put it on that. We'll put it on the right side of the machine. And that is going to be for a dopamine meal. Dispense one. Dispense one. Fryer only on when we're waiting for it. And same thing for that. Let me go ahead and have that connect up. And we will simulate that. And I know there's going to be changes uh, probably need to be made here, but we'll simulate this. Now, understand that... Ah, this is, oh, this is dopamine meal. Right. Stop. So, we've got the fries. We've got the burger. And we've got the fried chicken. Fried chicken is... Done. We don't need to touch that. However, the fries can get dispensed separately, but the burger can't. So all of these get removed for now. Um, the yeah, I'll just move this along to uh, there because we need to set it so that we have a um, a storage unit there. This might have some problems here. Robotic arm done. We'll go there. Robotic arm. Oh, okay. Let's let's one thing at a time. One thing at a time. That will dispense into there, right? 
but we need to have a packaging machine there. This is actually going to be set to dopamine meal, that's fine. Um, this one is set to dopamine meal and fries because it needs to do both. This one, dopamine meal only. So this is going to dispense out from there, which will go straight into there. Um, I guess it would be a simple matter of conveyor belting there. From there, we need to dispense the fries, but only once for each order. So we'll have a smart arm. No, we don't need a smart arm. We just need to time the dumb arms. That's a bit different. That can go to the left. Yes. Um, from here... There. Right. That's all going to turn on when we get an order for dopamine. But this is going to turn on when we get an order for either the fries or the dopamine. What we need then is to have two... Uh, oh no, one order reader will be fine. Um, that one then. No, we'll, we'll place another order reader to try and make it a bit more efficient. No, we can't. We don't have enough, we don't have enough um, budget for it. So that order reader is going to go there. That is going to set itself, so... Wait, can we do it? No, we probably don't need another order reader. But we're certainly not going to... I think we're going to use too much electricity. Because that... We'll say for the food processor, we're going to connect up instead that machine. And we want to say for that, while, there's an, uh, while an order is pending, do once. No, sorry. Perform one action for the new order. Is there anything else? Turn off one second after new order, turn on. Um, off while order's pending, do nothing, no. So perform one times on new order. That one. This one is... Ooh, right, the grill and that, which is the most power hungry. Assembly, uh, assembler is 4,000, where the electric grill is 3,000. So we want to make sure that the grill is removed, and we'll add that one. Only do once for a new order. So what will happen is, at least this is <laughs> this is the theory craft behind it. Um, every time the fries receives an order for, every time the fries receives an order for a dopamine meal or fries, it produces that. Uh, the dopamine one is only on when it when it needs one of them, um, and then these these arms only act once. There is still some problems with that. If you get, say, three orders of dopamine and then one order of fries, one of these robotic arms might be faster and the orders might be delayed. But we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it. Right, what I want to do is select um, all of those. That's going to be... No, select all of those. And that's going to be our burger. Um, actually, no, is that right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is correct. Right. Okay. So, uh, let's just press start and see how, how, how long it takes to break. Um, I reckon we'll have some delays here. So, we'll put it up to max speed and then we'll stop it when it um, hits one of the orders. It's probably going to be the dopamine first. Now, someone's coming with fried chicken. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, so we've got a dopamine meal. So, um, the fries and the burger dispenser's going. Yeah, that's fine. So fries are getting fried. Burger's getting grilled. Um, the world keeps on turning. We're going to see that once these fries have come out, it's going to then go straight into that box there. And then, yeah, that's what I didn't want to see. We've dispensed fries. Even though we didn't need to dispense fries. Right. But we are doing the fried chicken. So that, oh, that that arm there has cost us. We will still eventually do it because that arm's now faster and the dopamine meal will go out eventually. But because of the way it's all set up, we're now going to be dispensing fries when we don't need to dispense the fries. 
and now people are really annoyed that they're not getting the fry, uh, they're not getting the dopamine, uh, dopamine meal. Right, okay. Um, we need to fix that then. Hmm. How are we going to do that? What is the solution? It's not a splitter. Um, an ingredients gate. A gate that only allows ingredients to go through when an order reader or computer commands it to do so. It's a possibility? Um... I think the solution is to... That can do that fine. We'll remove that. We'll add that. And say... The... Food processor. Order is pending. That then. Order reader. Seems a bit of a waste, but fries... That... Only do once when there's an order pending for that otherwise that's going to work actually yes it could be an and or we could use it as an and or system and probably free that one up because that one will always be on unless nah that's just click start uh, no it, it, we could do that but then again there's some uh, inefficiencies there so mm, that should be better now so this should only activate when there's a specific order for fries not when the frying machine's on that's where I made the mistake there there you go that's exactly what we wanted it's working as intended. Um, there's still, you can see the fries there, One, it, there was still a bit of a conflict over there when it came come to the fries, but it did work and it is still working and so far we're doing okay. Energy usage is higher than I wanted. I don't think we're going to get that energy usage done, although we'll have to see. Ingredients should be bang on. We shouldn't be using any more ingredients than what we need. In terms of order delivery and time scale, we seem to be about right. Uh, there's some of the orders going into the yellow, but nothing's going into the red. Oh, just we, as I say, that one just hit red. Um, but we should be on right there. There is a bit of a delay when it comes to the frying, because the fryer takes six seconds and the dispensers are five seconds. But, I mean, it's much of a muchness. Energy, we're just about to sail past. So, there we go. We're now, we're not, we've, we've exceeded our excess energy, but we haven't used, ah, oh, and exceeded the order quarter. Wow, okay. So, we've used fewer than 145 ingredients. That's probably because of the, um... Yeah. Um, it's probably because of the excess, um, frying, I think. I think. Either way, I'm not going to be too worried about it because we did manage to complete the order. Uh, we were under budget. Uh, efficiency is 88%. So... You know what? Uh, we should be alright there. We could go back and try that again, but that's not really our concern at the moment. I think we will call that a, a good job job, and we will progress from there. What's this? Nothing works. Optional. And then it goes all the way down to not yet unlocked. Ah, so we need to do the ones on the other side now, which is power hungry. Deliver 40 meals, keep electricity usage under 3,500, and use fewer than 240 ingredients. So quite a big one, and we'll be doing that next episode. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.